Hey, and welcome back to Kelly Creations. Today I'm gonna show you a massive arty haul. Um, as I mentioned before, I recently turned 30, or in, in August, and I actually wished for two things. Either money to go to, um, to England, to London, and also our trip down to Turkey, but also um, gift cards for my favorite art store, which is in Gothenburg. And it's called In X. And yeah, so the other day I actually took my gift cards and went on a shopping spree. So the first thing I picked up was this water based primer, um, Gesso. So it's just gonna use as a primer when I um, want to paint something on a canvas. I then picked up protecting spray for gouache and watercolor. This is always good to have. I always spray my graphite drawings to ensure that they don't get smudged. So this is great for um, my watercolor pieces as well. The next thing I picked up was a bunch of my favorite papers. So two packs of A4 and one pack of A3. And this is the paper you see me use kinda all the time when I do time-lapse videos and such. I also picked up a bunch of water brushes. So these are brushes which fill up with water and they have three different um, brush nibs. So a fine one, a medium and a chisel tip. So it's gonna be nice using these. Um, I did pick up some water brushes off of eBay and they, you know, you get what you pay for. I paid like a pound for three and um, this is approximately 10 times that amount of money, but I think this will be great. Uh, Dervant is a really good brand, so I have high expectation for these um, water brushes. I also picked up a pack of pigment liners, and this is because I go through quite a lot of them when I'm doing my sketches and also my um, color splash paintings. So my current work in progress is this A3 sketch of four Rottweilers. So imagine it consumes quite a bit of um, ink. So this is just six different sizes of this fine liner pen. I then picked up two different white pens. So this is um, Signo Pignum Pigment Ink and this is a pilot pen with white ink as well. Um, I use white pens to make like the reflection in the eye and different kind of contrast sometimes in the fur and stuff so it's good to have white gel pens on hand. The next thing I picked up was these two Molotov um, art masking liquids. So I usually use um, masking liquids on a bottle and I apply it with a brush but I thought it was genius to have them as a kind of a marker. So I'm looking forward to using these. Um, they will come in handy when I want to mask off small details uh, in my watercolor painting and such. Stumps are really good when working in graphite and also polychromos. So it's just pressed paper and I use it to both blend and smudge. And the small ones are great for small details of course and the big one is good for um, bigger surfaces. So in, before I knew that they actually had a product. I used to take papers and just roll it up and try to make a hard edge so I can use that for smudging. Um, and even before that I used my fingers but that's re not really a good idea because you always have like residue and oil and stuff on your fingers and if you put your fingers on the painting uh, or on your drawing it's gonna leave that oil and that um, screws up the paper so next time you go over with graphite you're gonna have a different kind of shade where you have touched the paper so I really do recommend using stumps when you want to blend and smudge and stuff. You see me using them quite often in my especially in my graphite drawings. The next thing is something I have been really keen on trying for quite a while. This is the um, Mono Zero eraser. So I picked it up both in a 
rounded version and also a more square one and some refill. I then picked up these inks and can you just take a moment to appreciate the packaging of these? I mean how gorgeous are they? Look at this. It's a little polar bear. Come on camera, focus. Let everyone see the beautiful polar bear. And then we have like... I, I was actually just gonna buy this one. It is white but I might have picked up a canary yellow, orange, violet, emerald, scarlet, nut brown, blue and black Indian ink just because these this packaging is just so gorgeous. So these are definitely gonna make a nice little display in my artsy craftsy room or requirement. And then I have two more things to share with you. The next thing is Winsor Newton's new pigment markers. And yeah, I might have like a bazillion pro markers and I might have bought a bazillion water color markers but you know you can never have too much art supply and when you have gift cards it's everything is kind of for free so you kind of just have to buy something so this is the first time I'm actually looking at them and there are 12 of them and the thing that really sparked my interest was this pen in particular. It's a white blender, um, so it's opaque, not just an, a blender. Um, is this the blender? No, it was grey. Um, Pro markers have a blender that simply just is like alcohol, so it blends the colors. But since this is a white blender, it um, makes the vibrant colors more like a pastel um, that's what I think at least I haven't tried them uh, since they are brand new um, but I'm really looking forward to trying them I did buy one more thing but it is way too big to fit in this area so I'm just gonna insert a picture of it this is an A2 easel and it's gonna make my Life as an artist so much better, I hope. Um, so it also comes with different oil colors and I haven't been using oil since I was like 10 years old, I think. So I thought it would be a fun way to just try something new. So that's everything for this art haul. I hope you enjoy and I hope that you have a lovely day. I will talk to you in my next video. Hey, Doa!